Hey guys, so even though you guys never see me wearing glasses, I am actually supposed to be wearing glasses. I have an astigmatism in my left eye. My eyesight has been, at least in my left eye, my eyesight has been poor since about the sixth grade and I've worn glasses on and off. And no, I don't wear contacts. My eyes are super duper dry and that just sounds like a forgettable nightmare because I'm ADHD and I'd probably fall asleep with my contacts in. So uh, I went to the eye doctor way back at like the beginning of October and I got my eyes checked out and um, the astigmatism seems to have stabilized. I was wearing corrective lenses for a really long time but my left eye vision is abysmal and my right eye vision is pretty good. So it is time to wear glasses again. Now way back in SCAD I had a $400 pair of lenses that someone stole at a party which is a shame because I had insurance on those things and I haven't been able to afford glasses since because I bought those lenses hoping they would last me 10 years. But someone steals them and your insur insurance doesn't cover theft. You're just SOL. So um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get some fun glasses and then I also wanted to get kind of a pair of more serious wireframe glasses. So originally I was gonna try Warby Parker and I did like the order five thing and to be frank, like they don't have fun lenses. They have a lot of tortoiseshell and a lot of somber colors in heavy acrylic frames or heavy celluloid frames, but they don't have anything I would consider to be fun glasses. So Joseph tipped me off to Zenny Optical. They had a sale going on and I ended up buying way too many pairs of glasses. Um, like some of them were as cheap as $12 each. So I thought, sure, that sounds like a good idea. Ed, wait forever for them to come in because they went to Laplace instead of here. But they're finally here. I'm really excited to be able to see again. So I am going to unwrap these guys and share them with you because I'm sure some of you guys are also artists with poor vision who need affordable glasses and this could be a solution for that. All right, so my Zenny frames came to me in a priority mail packaging. I believe Zenny is a Chinese company and basically the way it works is you pick your frames and you put in your prescription prescription information. Uh, my pupil distance hadn't been measured by my doctor, or rather he didn't put that on my prescription, so Joseph and I had to use a ruler to do that, but Zenny explains how to do that. So hopefully they're accurate. Um, you select what type of lenses you want, what coatings you want, whether or not you want any engraving on the side, that sort of thing. I also ordered a couple of glasses cases. So, oh, okay. I ordered a couple of glasses cases so I could like leave them in my car, but apparently Zenny does actually send your glasses to you in a plastic case. I didn't know that because the site did not say that. And uh, I'll sort of see that. There is no mailing slip, there's no receipt. So two of the cases are open and two of them were shut. So I ordered four pairs of glasses because to be fair, they were like 30 each and even 120 for glasses is a pretty good deal. So inside the case is, um, it's actually not a bad case. It's an inexpensive case, clamshell style. Uh, should shut with a snap. It has like cheap velour on the bottom, made in China. Has the Zenny branding on the outside. Inside the bag is your item number. And it also comes with uh, caring for your new Zennies, in case you're new to glasses, I guess. And then it comes wrapped in a cleaning cloth. And then, oh voila, there are one of the pairs of glasses. But I would try them on, let you guys see, and kind of talk about their quality. Uh, this was paid for out of pocket. If you guys can't tell, I have no affiliation with Zenny or anybody but I thought you guys might enjoy this. And um, most artists I know have really poor eyesight, like myself, and are always on the market for portable glasses. So I cannot tell you, because they did not include a receipt, how much each pair cost at this time. Oh my gosh, I can see. Oh, it's like a, like a miracle. Wow, I can actually see again. These aren't too bad. They're not super 
flattering. I tried to get Joseph to come out and provide some feedback. Let me try to lure him one more time. Looks a little cheap, I guess. They are cheap glasses, yeah. to be fair. So, you know, I, the way I thought of it when I was ordering them is, you know, I love sunglasses and I have like a million pairs of sunglasses and I'm always wearing different sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And when I saw how cheap they were, I got really excited because glasses for accessories was not ever something I could afford growing up. Yeah. And this might be something affordable so people could wear their glasses not just to be able to see but to match their outfits or what they're doing for the day sure. so uh these are okay i can actually see which is what i'm most excited about right now yeah. and these do they look like there's a coating on the lens there is a coating on the lens so they have lots of different like coatings i paid for scratch resistance for because i am dangerous Sure. But they have, they do have UV coating. I did not for that because it's like thirty bucks more. And how's the new scarf? It's okay. Um, is it is it all crooked? No. My mom is always saying like your glasses are crooked and then physically fixing them. Glasses. I'm sure it. My nose it has is a crooked. Nose piece of, yeah, but I'm sure since it has a nose. You could fix it. it. Yeah, so they're not bad. No, they look. And I didn't know they were going to come with plastic cases, so I ordered a couple protective cases to put in the car. I really didn't know. But uh, had I known, I wouldn't have, because these are okay. So that's glasses one. I already kind of like them better than the Warby Parker ones, because they already have more personality. They do have more personality. They just they look slightly cheap. Well, they're cheap. I'm still going to get a nice pair of glasses, but these are like for funsies. I have not looked at any of the other glasses yet. You got four? I, you I got did three. get four. No. So these are some of the ones I remember being on sale, and their base price for the frame was twelve dollars. Okay. So they were pretty expensive. Also wrapped up in a cleaning cloth. I think I got my name put on the inside of these. Since, yep, Becca Hilburn. You guys probably are not gonna be able to see that, but my name's in it. That was um, more like. They look Acetate cheap, style. but they're more like fun kind yeah, of glasses. Those look kind of like readers. Yeah. And these have, they're clear acrylic and they have just plastic flowers on the frame. They're pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah, they definitely look like a sunflower kind of, uh, sunglasses kind of frame. Yeah. Um, which, oh, they are kind of, I have a crooked nose. Yeah. See, that's the thing. That doesn't have the pads on yeah. it. So it doesn't have Jason the Alexander so hummed a doubloon at my nose at Endymion when I was 14 and uh, damaged my nose. So that dude from Seinfeld broke my nose as a teenage girl. And now my glasses never fit. He was probably drunk though. I think he was very drunk. I was there to see Frankie Munoz because it was that time. Are they all pretty light? They're all pretty light, yeah. So something else nice is I could just put a pair, if it weren't, if the cases weren't so big, I could just put a pair in my purse and like, you know, have a pair of glasses. Cause I also was thinking like I could leave some in the car and that way I always have glasses in the car. You definitely can't tell that these are flowers. It just kind of looks sure. like a design. Sure, it's just, yeah. There's not enough surface for Yeah, they're not big be, enough. Like someone would have to be on top of your face to be able to tell it's flowers. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, the colors are there. Yeah. And that's what I was going for. So two of them came open, not damaged, but they weren't gonna shut. So the other two were shut. I'm sure my mom will hate all of them. <laughs> when I told her I ordered glasses online, she was like, well, what if they sit all funny on your nose? How are you gonna get them fixed? You can take them to like Vision Optical or any of those mall optical places and pay them to he fix it for you. So here's another one. These I know are gonna look funky on me, but I thought the style was really fun. It's definitely. Out These there. are like teaching glasses, I right? I kind of like those actually. They do. They have, have they have a lot of personality. personality. Are they flattering on me? I don't know, but they were like twenty bucks, so who cares? Yeah, they're definitely they're fun, and they don't look like sunglasses, unlike the other estate ones. Are and those estate as well? These are probably plastic and they also have my name i mean acetate is just them. a type of plastic it right? is well yeah this but... is probably like abs or something no it I might be acetate as well i can't tell want to try them on no let's see how you look with glasses it's not gonna fit it's too no i got a small head yeah <laughs> that's something surprising is they were able to get the fit of my face even though all i went was like uh, they have like media, small, medium, and wide face shapes, mm -hmm. and I have like kind of like a little kid face, so I went with that. And then they they do the pupil distance. Yeah, pupil distance. I am surprised that they're pretty good. 
because I've gone into optical places and they didn't do a good job. And this is just some Chinese company off the internet. Yeah, and you measured your own interpretation. Yeah, you measured them for me, actually, kind of like sure. these. I, I mean, it wasn't done by doctor. Right. Coordinate. Well, it was, but he didn't provide that on the oh, prescription. Wow. Okay, last pair. These are fun. These were also on sale. So one I paid 12 for and one I paid nine for, which is why I have four pairs of glasses. And then these, the, 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 these ones were full, not full price because I had a, a coupon going on. That's another reason why I spent what I spent was I was aiming for that coupon discount. Sure. It, it wasn't that much, especially when it comes to glasses. No. These are also, I think, fun. These are the ones that made me decide to give Zenny a try. Like, no joke. Like, they're pretty simple. They're just like rainbow glasses. They're like nine dollars. They look, look they great. look do they? They look cheap, but that's okay. I think they look good on you. Thank you. So um I'm actually pretty happy with all four of them. I know this pair is a little bit more boring, but I think it's good to have just like these remind me of some of my favorite sunglasses. So that's why I got it. I can see! I'm excited! Okay. Yourself. Yeah, I really can't. Like, the world is like a soft blur filter, and now it's like, oh, I can see. You would think they would give you different color cases if they were sending you four pairs of glasses. I don't know if they make different color of the freebies, sure. you know? I think it's all like whatever. I also tried to get fairly different lenses, you know? Like the heavy lenses are generally not that flattering on my face. That's why I'm still going to get a pair of wire or frameless glasses. Sure. Um, but I teach kids a lot, and they like anything that's like colorful or quirky or individual. And I do too. I guess I'm a big kid because I like that kind of stuff too. So um, that's another reason why I went with them. Anyway, I, like in terms of like the styles, I'm much happier with the Zenny glasses than with the Warby Parker glasses. The Warby Parker glasses seem like they were a bit better built, but like I couldn't find any bright colors really. And Zenny has like yellow. They've got, like, I didn't even get the brightest. I wanted the yellow glasses, and then I was like, the yellow is not very flattering on my face, so I opted not to. But they do have, like, really fun colors, too. Beyond, like, clear rainbow, which is pretty fun, to be fair. And all of them have my name on it, except for these. It, that wasn't an option on those. And it's, uh, it's like a dollar to get your name put on it. So, you know, like, if you're a parent buying glasses for your kid, this could be a good way to do it, because they're very cheap. I don't know about you, but like I was very careful with my glasses as a, as a kid, and I still had other kids steal my glasses. I, I've never worn you never glasses. wore glasses. Here, wear glasses. No. You can have a glasses party. Those are not gonna fit. No, I've got a little face, and they all fit. That's also so surprising. They all fit. And you can see through all of them well. Yeah, they're, they're all like their, legit they glasses. Yeah, them. I'm yeah. impressed because we we did that. <laughs> Didn't think that was gonna work. So. um yeah, you don't need to order the extra cases. I, I thought it was going to come in like a, like a glasses bag and like that was going to be it, maybe wrapped in bubble wrap. Like I really didn't know what to expect. So this is pretty, pretty it's like $5, pretty inexpensive. You can get them cheaper it, literally everywhere, like Walmart, Dollar Tree, whatever. Yeah. Um, I used what's to the, get them. What's the inside? It's, it's, it's like a velour. No. Well, yeah, it's pleather on the outside. It's like a velour on the inside. Yeah. And I got them so that I could leave a couple of pairs, uh, or leave a pair of glasses like in the car, and then maybe leave a pair at my mom's house just Do in case. Do you know where temperature has to take warps at? Like, is the car going to get hot enough to? That's a good question in Louisiana because yeah. you do use a heat gun to, like, if if your yeah if your glasses yeah. don't fit, they'll use a so heat gun. So if it's under strain for whatever reason, like it's wedged in the seat, and it could warp. Well, oh, I wasn't long. planning on wedging it in a seat, but that's it. like you wouldn't want to leave it on your dashboard, for example. You might put it in your glove box or hide it under the seat. Because like the, the point is just, uh, I have terrible night vision, and the point is just to always have a pair of glasses in the car so that it's not something I have to worry about. Yeah. Which pair is going to be the, I think these, because frankly these are like the most, these are cute, but these are like the most boring, the, the floral, oh, so just, leave the just to leave in the car. I mean, whatever you want. I feel like Liz, where it's like, bang, I've got bangs, <laughs> it's like, pow, I've got glasses. Pow, I can see again. So, yeah. 
Um, there's also, they also have customer support with the chat and you can call, you can, they do 30 day returns. So you have up to 30 days to return it's them. It's for credit, right? It doesn't say, it just says we accept returns within 30 days of purchase. So, I mean, I don't, I, I don't plan on returning any of them. I'm pretty happy with them. So honestly, I might even like, I think I subscribe to their mailing list. So I might even keep an eye out for their sales and if they've got any cute frames for like $12, I might snap them. Look, for someone like me who, for most of our relationship, I didn't wear my glasses. Like you didn't see me wearing my glasses. Yeah. And I need to, like I can't see. Um, and I'm a very vain person. <laughs> so um, for me to be like, I might get some more frames. That's, that's like a big difference for me because I went from like no, I don't, I don't want to wear my glasses. I don't like they don't look like me. I don't feel they like also me. Didn't fit right. They didn't fit or, right. Sorry, they they didn't they they were a little cockeyed. But what I meant was the lenses weren't right. Uh yeah, they were outdated. And also just like I I felt like I didn't look like Becca, you know. And like this is super dorky to say that, but like with these, I feel like even though they're covering on my face, I feel like they look like me because they're bright and they're fun. They're not just like sad, boring glasses. And like when I went and got my vision done, I went into the optical shop to try and order some glasses. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have anything fun. Sure. Everything, I, all the fun stuff was for the very little kids. I'm talking like yeah. five year olds. And that makes me really sad because there's a lot of people who would like fun glasses. They would like to express their personality, like, like treat it like jewelry or an accessory. So I think it's cool that Zenny's doing that and they're dirty. So like if you break them or if you lose them or if your dog eats them, you know, you're not out 300 bucks, which is what my glasses as a kid used to cost. It was like 300 and I was always in trouble. Somebody stole them in sixth grade out of my cubby and I was in so much trouble for that. I had to save up the money. I couldn't even save up money to buy a marble run, a hundred dollar marble run, but I had to save up the money to replace my glasses because my parents thought I lost them. Yeah. But when my teacher recovered the glasses, my parents bought me something really nice. I think I got like a Game Boy or something as like a sorry. <laughs> you had to do that. So um, anyway, thank you for joining me. I'm really excited about it. It's more doing videos where I can talk to somebody is always way more fun than talking to the camera. No, I play well off of other talk people. To I can't see their expre express and express less they're not making enough faces. If they made more they faces, need to make more faces. I can see, see it that. through the screen as I'm recording it in advance. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. I love you. And thank you guys. Hopefully this was helpful for y'all. I know it's not art supply related, but like I said, so many artists have really poor vision and uh, maybe this is helpful. And I also want to remind you guys one last time, no affiliation whatsoever with Zenny. I was just taking a risk and I thought I would share it with you guys. I've never worked with them before. I've never bought glasses from them before. And Joseph will tell you, I bought him all. I was like, ah, I don't want to order my glasses off of there. I'm going to try Warby Parker because of the ads. There's so many ads for That's Warby Parker. Me off of yeah. Warby Parker is that there are so many ads for Warby they're Parker. They're expensive. They're $100 a glass, a pair of glasses. I mean, which that's not is not expensive. that's what glasses usually cost. right but they're plastic sure. they are plastic yeah. um i mean we handled five pairs of them they're plastic yeah. um they are maybe a little nicer than the zenny glasses but they have nicer glasses on zenny mm -hmm. i ordered a lot of like sale glasses or these are cute quirky glasses you know or glasses that look like my sunglasses <laughs> my favorite pair of sunglasses so um i wasn't looking at their hire and stuff i was looking at like what's colorful and fun but they do have nicer glasses too and they also have um you can get the like the blue screen the yellow tinting for yeah. it and you can get transitions like where uh, they turn into sunglasses i didn't want to do that it makes it a lot more expensive and if i'm going to do that i'm going to go to light. Like I'm gonna do it on nice sunglasses glasses. Sunglasses from UV or heat, or they turn into sunglasses when you attach them. No, they turn. No, they also sell those though. I could have gotten the sunglasses for these and these, I think, and I chose not to mm -hmm. because I like accessorizing with my sunglasses. Um, but they, no, the transition lenses that were like super popular in the '90s and very expensive. You can they'll put the transition coating so it's like this inside and then turns into sunglasses in the light, like bright sunlight. Sure. 
Um, and I chose not to do that because I felt like if I was going to spend all that money, because it's like 50 bucks, I'll do that on a pair of really nice glasses yeah. rather than a pair of glasses that if the dog ate them, I'd be cool with it. Sure. I guess if Bowie ate them, he wouldn't do that, so. No. A dog is more likely to eat them than Bowie. I think it's more likely you're going to sit on them. I will probably.